In class lately, we've been talking about searching and how to find valuable sources. But now it's time to talk about your topic. So we have an umbrella for our topics, an umbrella topic. And our umbrella topic was, one of them actually was American history. Now, I decided to choose Underground Railroad for my topic. That is a part of our American history, and I want to learn. I know a little bit about it, but I want to learn a little bit more and teach others and become an expert in an area. Okay. However, the Underground Railroad was a big thing, and oftentimes you're going to be choosing topics that are very vast and huge, and we're going to need to narrow them down and make them a little bit less broad. So I have a question for us to think about, and as I read this question. I want you to think about your topic and think about is my topic too broad? So is it this too broad of a topic, the Underground Railroad? But what we want is we want to be able to do our topic justice. Sometimes people will go in and do something on on a topic and they really will give you just in the words that I use is a taste of info instead of the whole bite. And you know that's not fair to the reader. They, we want to teach them and do something in depth. We want to teach them to our best ability. But how can we narrow that topic down? Well, what I would do, and what I'm going to show you, is we're going to think about what we already know about the topic. You're going to choose this, to you chose this topic because you do have an understanding about something, something along the way. You read a book, you watched the documentary, you heard about the Underground Railroad, or I heard about it, and you heard about your topic somewhere and we wanted to learn more and then and teach, teach somebody else. So actually, in order to learn more, you actually have to go and do some research before your actual research starts. You have to go find different topic ideas for the Underground Railroad, okay? So really, in essence, report writing, you have to do two different searches. You do an initial search to find out what areas you could write about. Then once you've uh, have made your focus questions, and we'll talk more about that in a, in a second, um, you're going to go then go and search for your information to fulfill those questions. So there's two different searches that you can do. Now on this uh, document I have possible topics that I could write about and as you can see I haven't uh, written down any yet and I have possible intro ideas on like how can I get started and then possible focus questions. And your focus questions are going to be located at in your uh, your gathering grid and we're gonna have a lesson on that in a day or two but your focus question is how are you gonna focus the body the meat of your paper which way is it gonna go but we can't make those until we actually have topics so what we're gonna do is if you haven't already I want you to have a Google tab open a tab open and have a Google search okay so push pause and go do that and have it available all right, now we're back. The ta this document that you have as well is called Narrow Down Your Topic. What I would like you to do is go and find this document. It should be located in your writing informative folder. And I want you to make a copy of it for yourself. And then change the information up top from Underground Railroad to your topic. Okay. So again, push pause, make that those changes, and then come back. Now we're going to move in to possible topics that I could write about. Now I already have my search tab open and there is a one website that could is helpful. Sometimes it can be misleading but Wikipedia is helpful in this scenario. Now I'm not going to say use every ounce of information from here and think that it's true. You have to compare this information but what Wikipedia does is it gives you a table of contents of different um, areas in which you could or they talk to you about and have ideas now I'm seeing political background I see structure I see root uh, criticism and there's different areas now I'm gonna write down a couple of these I'm thinking the root would be fun to write about and know more about I know that the Underground Railroad isn't a railroad but rather a route to some place but I still want to know more about it. I think I could do some justice and teach it. So I'm going to write in my possible topics is the root 
of the Underground Railroad. Okay? And I want you to take notice on how I abbreviated here. That's going to help you later when we learn how to take notes. Alright, and I can actually make this even better. Okay? So that's a possible topic. I'm going to go back to my tab and I am going to think about and look at oh I could we could look at the structure the structure of the underground world how was it made up and what who was involved so that might work structure okay and I'm not saying you have to do this and find all four or even more than four if you found one that you really think would be interesting and is doable and you could really teach it for instance the root I like. I think it would be fun to teach you people about the route of the Underground Railroad. We're going to find that there's going to be some information. So I think that would be a good idea. And so for my possible intro ideas, I could think about how to introduce and give a brief description of the U Underground Railroad. So just give an intro and talk about it. And then my focus questions are going to be geared around the root and the information that I find. So we're going to leave this for the end. So now with your topic, I'd like you to type in your topic like you did earlier. And then I want you to go to your Google tab. And I want you to, to see if you can narrow down your topic and give some possible topic ideas and ways to start. Punctures the spelling error. So we're going to go undo that. There we go. So good luck narrowing your topic.